I'm surprised you knew where those were. Oh, come on, I'm not that bad. <laughs> what time are you expecting her? I don't know exactly. It's a long drive down from Scotland. You know, she's not going to be looking at every nook and cranny, you know, Ken. She has come to see you. I know. Well, it just, I don't know, gives me something to do, I suppose. Are you nervous? Oh, it's a lot of years, Deirdre. She's still your daughter. I always meant to go up there and see her, but... Uh... Oh, come on, love. I mean, she didn't exactly encourage you, did she? No, but she was busy with her job and her life. I'm the one who should have made the effort. Well, that's what happens with families. Everybody gets caught up in their own concerns and they finish up doing phone calls and cards at Christmas. <laughs> I must say, having Peter around again, it set me thinking about a lot of things. Yep, all right, sorry, I know. It's not been plain sailing, exactly. <laughs> you can say that again. But I blame myself for that as well. I just let the years slip by for him as well as Susan. It's not too late. I hope you're right. Hiya. Good journey? Not really. Thought I'd put this place behind me once and for all. Dad's really looking forward to seeing you. Don't try and guilt trip me, Peter. I'm only here because you couldn't keep your mouth shut. Hey, come on, don't be like that. What do you expect me to be like? If I hadn't come down now, he'd have come up to Scotland. Don't you think maybe it's time you told him the truth? No. Susan, I what... don't want him or anyone else finding out. No way. That's why I'm here. Come here. You look very well. So do you, Dad. Right, let's get you inside and get the kettle on. You must be famished. All that driving. I don't know why you didn't make your proper lunch. I'm fine. I stopped a couple of times anyway. No, Branch is right. I would have done you some lunch, but didn't know what kind of expect you. Don't worry, Dad. The cake's lovely. If you ask me, it's a bit dry. So, has it changed much? Not really, no. Personally, I don't know why you haven't been back before. She'd be busy, Blanche. A life to lead, a job to do. Time passes before you know it. Deirdre used to say that. She'd neglected me terribly for years, you know. Oh, you do exaggerate. Why don't mean you're gonna have a drink, Blanche? What now? On top of tea and cake? That's a great idea. You're as bad as Deirdre. If you want to be shot of us, why not just say, I can't stand all this pussyfooting around. You're buying, I take it? Oh, ah, yeah, yeah. Oh, dear old Blanche. She doesn't change. Nor do you, Dad. No, I don't suppose I do. So, are you going to tell me what's wrong, then? Nothing's wrong. I don't know what nonsense Peter's been talking. Everything's fine. Family. That's the most important thing, you know. Now, come on, steady on, Blanche. <laughs> if I hadn't seen our dear drift for that many years... I think it's disgusting, that. Old folk getting legless. Are you planning on taking the pledge when you reach 60, then? I shall age with dignity. Hmm. That will be worth waiting for. Accountancy's a pretty cutthroat business nowadays. Once you build up your client base, you make very sure you hang on to it. Your firm must be pleased with you, though, They're planning to make you a partner. Oh, believe me, Dad, I've worked for it. I'm sure you have. <laughs> Oh, we both seem to be busy at the wrong times, don't we? Me when you were young and you now. Well, we were never a family to live in each other's pockets. You seem to have stayed close to Peter, though. In some ways. Well, we've caught up with a lot this afternoon, but uh, I still have the feeling there's something you're not telling me. Like what? 
When you were a little girl and you had something to hide, you always had this look. You're not a natural liar, Susan. Look, I don't know what it is, but you don't have to protect me or my feelings, you know. I'm not. So what then? You think I might judge you? Well, Dad, it's just not that simple. Look, I know I haven't been the best father in the world, but you can trust me. Can I? Hello? Hi. Hello, <laughs> oh, no, love. Oh, you're looking well. <laughs> so, are you going to tell us what's going on? I could kill that brother of mine. Still, when I left Mike, it was a difficult time. I, I didn't know what to say to you. I didn't want to hear you say, I told you so. Look, the last thing in the world I wanted was for you to marry Mike Borden, but it was no satisfaction to me to see you that unhappy. I know. I, I should have supported you more, especially when you decided not to have the baby. I know that now, and I'm sorry. Dad, I didn't have an abortion. What do you mean? I went ahead with the pregnancy. That's why I went to Scotland. I didn't want Mike to know. You're saying you had a baby? Yeah. I had a baby. He's not a baby anymore, though. He's 12 years old. His name's Adam. 